Hey, I'm Georgie, and we're here with Young Blood. Yo, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, man. All right, we're gonna play a game of Let's Would You game. Rather. Would you? Oh, I'm Would you? <laughs> oh, all right. All right. All right. Would you rather? Oh, yeah, man. Man spreading his spread all over the all over the screen. Okay. Would you rather eleven minutes? In the future, 11 minutes in the past. Oh, 11 minutes in the future. Let's see what's to come. Yeah, whereabouts, like what, how many, 10 years, five years? Oh, man. I, yeah, five years. Let's have a gander. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's have a peep out. into your future. Would you rather Britpop or Pop Punk? Oh, Britpop. Mm. Britpop, man, I think. I don't know. I, it's the same thing, but from different sides of the globe. Yeah. But I don't know, man. I grew up on it. Do you know what I mean? Like, just when girl, Girls and Boys comes on, man, I'm just like, yeah. All right, never sing again or never play guitar again? Ow! I'd probably rather never play guitar again. It's mm. my voice, man. I don't like, that's one of my worst fears, someone to take my voice. Yeah. It'd be the worst. It'd be so. awful. Like... I I mean, I'm still talking. What are you? you can't not talk. I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> all right, um, California or London? Uh, London. Even though your song is all about California? No, to be honest, it's California. That was a weird one. That was about a lot of my life. I did not feel like people understood me. Mm -hmm. People did not want to understand me because I didn't belong in a certain box that someone like people love to put people in boxes. Don't I? It's like you yeah. belong over there. You belong over there. You belong right at the back over there in the <laughs> right corner. And maybe you belong Jump on shot. six rows, seven floor forward. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And. I didn't belong in any box. I had my hand in seven boxes, you know, because I would wake up every day and when I was exploring, I'd want to be a different person. Do you know what I mean? Because I'd look at all these artists and one day I want to be Bowie, one day I want to be Freddie, one day I want to be, I don't know, Debbie Harry. California was about, one about the first time in my life. It's about when I went to America and got signed. It was like they were one of the first people in my life who were going, we want to invest in you for exactly who you are. So that's where California comes from. I was like, maybe I gotta go back there because it was the first time I felt genuinely accepted for the person I was, you know. So, anyway, go on. Next uh, one. Finally, would you rather no socks or fluffy orange socks with bells on them? I mean, I would never wear anything. <laughs> I wear pink socks all the time, man. Do your research. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm asking if you had to choose. None. Uh, um, yeah, or... man, I would I would never wear not pink socks, so I'd wear, I'd go, I'd go. Totally barefoot. Uh, okay. You would gotcha. see my toes. Oh, but sweaty and but clammy and <laughs> sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. This is like <laughs> half an hour. Young boy just taking the piss out of your accent. I'm sorry. Sweaty. 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 Bloody, sweaty. sweaty. Feet. Love it. Love I it. I love it too, man. All right, there we go. Mellow. That's what you rather with young blood. With young blood. Young blood. Young, young blood. blood. Yeah, see. Here we go. Touché. Getting it. Young blood. <laughs> Touche, man. Sorted. <laughs> if you could put anything on a billboard outside Downing Street, what would it be? Listen to young people because we might actually just surprise you. Full stop. I think we need to start a GoFundMe crowd yeah. raiser for that. Well, drop a tenner in, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm young blood. Uh, I'm from the north. I'm 21 years old. And my music is kind of like genre bending music about issues that goes on today. Showing. You just got back off tour. I did. How was it? Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like mental, like coming home, I just can't believe it. It was just like insanity. What you like on tour? Are you have a chilled night or do you go out partying? Um, to be honest, I don't really party yeah. because I, I leave like everything on stage. Like when I get on stage, I'm like, woo! Wow! <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't think I could party. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I think it's mental, like, the shows are just crazy. Like, everyone's just like... <laughs> like rabbits. What song do you wish you'd written? Um, Don't Look Back in Anger by Oasis. Are you joking me? <laughs> <laughs> so, Sally Kim, bro, it'd be sick, man. It would be sick. Imagine playing that on tour. Yeah, bro, can you imagine playing that full stop, man? Like, the crowd, like, I cr like nearly cry. Every Noel Gallagher cried when he played that. Noel Gallagher cried. That's a hard That part. says it all. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, nothing getting Noel Gallagher. Oh, yeah, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shed a tear. What gives you hope? What gives me hope? Um, the people I meet, like the, my fan base, man, the young people that like, I speak to, the stories I hear, the, the, the challenges people have overcome. I think 
right now there's such a surge of passion from young people because what makes us different from, I don't know, like kids in the 60s is we can express our feelings to a worldwide scale with the click of a button. Again, it's the connection with my fan base is what's most important to me. Mm -hmm. I get like freaked out if I don't connect to them. Do you know what I mean? If I've like had like four days off and been MIA, I'm like, oh, what's everyone up to? Do you know what I mean? It's it's kind of so important to me because I think that's just kind of the way people my age are thinking as well, man. Do you know what I mean? We literally, that's why we're so, so intelligent. Mm -hmm. That's not why we're like so clever because we have access to as much information as we could possibly desire. Do you ever feel sort of patronised by older generations? It's more kind of overlooked mm -hmm. than patronised. It's like they kind of have this cataracts of old ideologies that prevents them from understanding me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it annoys me, but sometimes it makes me feel a bit sorry for them because it's just like, you have no clue, you have no understanding. It's harder for us to be patronised and kind of put in, put in a box because we have an outlet. We mm -hmm. finally have an outlet to talk from, man, and that's sick.